Hi, I'm Stefan, and you're watching Aquaparel TV. So, during our move, it was really quite fun to move this tank. This 265 took about seven people to move out of our old store and five people to move in the store. Why the loss of the two people? Well, they had to go home and they got tired. So, when we moved the tank in, we had the big tough decision of wanting to go with sand or no sand. If you go online, you'll see the raging debates that are going either way. The biggest thing that we were looking at is we wanted more flow in the tank, we wanted more coral in the tank. So with that said, we went with no sand on the bottom. We lowered the power heads in the tank, so that way we could gain more undertow. And with the undertow, you get a cleaner bottom on the tank with no debris that settles, and you get a little bit better growth of those corals that are on the bottom there. So that's the biggest change in the whole tank is the no sand. Also, with the moving of the tank, we ended up doing some different corals. We went with, again, more stony corals, like we had said in our last video. We, we were trying to shoot more for that. So we added in a red planet, Acropora, we also added in a really nice highlighter bottle brush, Acropora, really adding some good color there. Um, we actually found in our old selection a deep water Acropora. It's uh, Acropora carolinia, I do believe. Beautiful, beautiful species, coloring up real well. Uh, another one that we added over here is the Garf bonsai Acropora. Can't identify it to its exact species level, but that one's purpling up real, real nice, and it has your typical Garf bonsai style. Um, also, on the bottom, we added a few more chalices. Uh, we have here, I do believe, a watermelon chalice. And also we have a little Montipora garden going over here. For lighting, we kept it the same as last time. We really liked what the Radions were doing. And for those that missed out, this are the Generation 2 Pros. We're contemplating upgraded to the Generation 3s. We'll let you guys know if we do. We'll go ahead and do another video if we do change over. But for right now, the Generation 2 Pros are providing all the color, all the growth that we would want in this tank. As far as filtration goes, Again, we kept a lot of this the same. It's a closed loop system, Berlin style with the socks, your protein skimmer, a reactor with GFO, and we have an auto dosing system with magnesium, alkalinity, and calcium. And that keeps this system very stable for us. So another cool feature of this tank is as you may notice in the video, it's actually sitting in the middle of our room. And there's no cords, there's no wires, there's no mess going around our store. How do we get away with that? We had an electrician come in, he put in what's called a power pole. The power pole is actually just that, a pole in the middle of the room that allows for electrical current to be brought down into a standard outlet. So you can pretty much have an outlet anywhere in a room without the mess and the look of all the wires. So this is a great asset in terms of getting this tank in the middle of the room aesthetically where we wanted it. Well, thanks guys for watching another episode of Aquaparel TV with us today. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and subscribe. We're going to have a lot more of this. Thanks.